He has been on the roll this year from being behind the Olympic gold to the Gilas wins in FIBA and now bringing home the championship with talk and text in the PBA. We have with us team owner and sports patron Manny Panghilina. Thank you. Thank you, Gretchen. How sweet is this win for you? Finally turning things around after six years bringing home the all-Filipino title again. Well, uh, obviously we are all very glad uh, that TNT won it and relieved, no? After more than two months of uh, tough games for them. So we're very happy for them. And of course after a title drought, so to speak, of mm -hmm. about six years. No? And glad to welcome back Trot. Uh, and happy for him that uh, on his return, he was greeted with a championship. No? It was a journey of the team as a whole, and in many ways as well, a journey of each individual. No? If you look at Mikey Williams, mm -hmm. he was missing his shots a lot in the beginning. I guess, I guess he was getting accustomed to the PBA style and to the Philippines. So, so it turned here, but it turned out to be a gem. No? And then, of course, if you take a look at uh, Kelly and Ryan, they're re re rejuvenated uh, players. Uh, that's the way. The way Ryan played in this uh, conference is was the way he played 10 years ago. One breakthrough story that we have is the return of Coach Shot Reyes. How did you think of bringing him back to the team, to the helm, even though you know he ha hasn't coached in a long time? He has uh, managed to reinvent himself in terms of the latest trends, I think, in, in basketball. And uh, I think he himself has changed. Well, he has aged, obviously, in those six years, no? or nine years. He's a bit more tempered mm -hmm. and has become a little philosophical, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, the old shot is quite different from the new shot. On the eve of the fifth game, we called him. I said, I told Ricky and I'll join him. I'd like to talk to Chot because I said, oh, we have agreed already on the bonus for the team. Would you like us to tell you and or the team? No? I said, no, please don't. We want to focus on the game and so forth. Okay. Nice. We respect that. We respect that. What do you think is with his system that makes him a certified, you know, all Filipino conference winner? I think his ability to communicate to Filipinos, his ability to to learn, mm -hmm. and his ability to create the chemistry uh, with the team. Is is it a problem for you as a team owner? How foreign leagues? are looking at Filipino talent right now. Well, you know, it's, And what do you think is the challenge with that? It is, and we have to to look at how we can manage that outflow, right? Uh, because you've got some of your best college players playing abroad. Some have uh, resisted the temptation, like Pogoy and Troy, and even Jason. Being Filipino, being with your family, being at home, and more importantly is being with a team that's, that's winning. Mm -hmm. The chemistry of the team, a team that's able to win, and a league diba, that is managed professionally. Mm -hmm. Aside from you know being at the right place and at the right time, what would you say would be the key to um, investing in the right things? Because Haydel and Diaz, you know, you've been supporting her for a long time, and and she won it on her fourth. Olympics. This one, TNT, six years coming. You've been with the league for a long time, you know, changing things here and there. And even FIBA, uh, your vision is long term. I think the, the, the starting point is your ability to make to make the tough decision. Mm -hmm. Because uh, and that, that it, it requires courage in making the decision. It's both a combination of analysis and your gut feel. And, uh, Taking a risk. Yeah, and only events subsequent to that decision will prove whether that decision made mm -hmm. at the point in time, mm -hmm. whether you were right or you were wrong. And you might be wrong in the first few years and you could be right after that. What, what keeps you holding on? How do you know when to let it go or to just you know stick, stick with it? I think it's a combination of what you think is right uh, for the team, for the company, and um, stubbornness too. <laughs> Your message for the TNT team? Uh, rest and uh, relish uh, your victory, which was uh, hard fought, hard, hard earned. No? So then I look forward to hosting dinner for the team 
and uh, seeing the trophy for the first time uh, for dinner with the team. No? And uh, we wish you well in the second conference, with, uh, which is an import conference. And remember, consistency in performance and change. If you need to change, go ahead. Innovate, right? That is the mantra in today's world.